Hello and welcome to the Crichton. My name is Willem Gibbons, I'm the Chief Exec of the Crichton Trust and this series of short updates about how we're responding to the coronavirus challenge. It's been a few weeks since my last update, my last video blog, uh, and if you've been up to the grounds recently, you'll notice that there's a number of things that are beginning to change. In particular, you'll, you may well notice that there's a number of new signs at our entrances, whether you're entering the estate by car or on foot, just reminding people to be um, aware of others, to maintain your physical distancing, and do what you can to stay safe and stay well, both for yourself and the wider Crichton community. A key point in terms of physical distancing, if you're, if you're coming to the estate to enjoy the grounds, is obviously we've got ample space for people to enjoy. So that's very easy to do. Most of our paths are very wide, so it's easy for you to, to avoid each other and keep the, those kind of t at least two meter distances between you. Where it's a little more tricky is the rock garden, and we know it's very popular. We would ask if you want to go for a wander around the rock garden to just have a look in. There's a couple of vantage points, or you can actually hear how many people are walking through the paths and not enter the rock garden if you think it's a little bit too busy, because those paths in particular are quite narrow. Um, go and have a little wander somewhere else, or you could come up to, um, up to Easterbrook and enjoy the Easterbrook take takeaway and cafe that we have now opened up from last week. So it is a lovely place to sit out, have a drink, have something to eat, or you could even order a picnic to take away. Uh, if the weather's bad, we do have some limited um, uh, space for tables inside what was Easterbrook uh, Bistro, uh, but I would advise that you book if you want to ensure that you get a table. We're really pleased to be able to get a little bit of our catering offer back up and running. In terms of Easterbrook Hall, we've made the difficult decision to not reopen Easterbrook Hall for public events until the end of March. Uh, 2021. At the moment we can't see any certainty on how we can bring large numbers together safely. We're very pleased that we are able to use the venue though to support the response to coronavirus and in particular um, the, the council, Dumfries and Galloway Council, are making good use of the venue for uh, their meetings to help so we can support elected members to physically distance when they're supporting all the key decision making that needs to be made for the region at this time. The Easterbrook Hall kitchens and fridges are also being used as a storage and distribution point for uh, food packages um, in the region. So, that, you know, it's although the venue is closed to the public, we're making sure we're doing as best use of that facility as we possibly can. The other thing that's beginning is happening on this state is that many of our tenants are now beginning to return back to their buildings or are preparing to return. Um, over the next three to four weeks. That means that we're bringing all our cleaning team back into, back into use out of furlough uh, and we're beginning a program of, of deep cleaning those buildings ready for the return of our tenants. One of the key challenges of coronavirus for us is that we have a number of buildings that have multiple tenants. So that means we need to look at um, inventive ways to see how we can minimize the contact that different tenant groups, different bubbles of people have, have with each other. So we're doing things like looking at where we have fire exits and seeing if we can turn them, turn them into uh, entrances and exits for um, people just coming in and out rather than just an emergency exit. Uh, and we're looking at how we can separate the use of um, toilets and our kind of kitchen areas to different floors and, and different groups. And we're doing that in discussion through the Tenants Forum. And it's been fantastic to have that conversation with our tenants and with the wider Crichton community to think about how together we can stay safe um, and, and, stay, and stay well. The other big news is that we've got the construction work now well underway on Crichton Central. This is the renovation of Criffel. If you know the Crichton, that's the building adjacent to um, Solway House. And also uh, it was previously the location of our Frescoes Cafe. So that building will become uh, our co-working collaboration hub. It will have a cafe. It will have a really large indoor space for people to come in and sit and um, meet, drink coffee, just spend the day and a large outside covered space that people can make use also for, for working in with access to power and really fast broadband. 
So we're, we're delighted to get Crichton Central up and running. We're very pleased that South of Scotland uh, Economic Partnership uh, awarded, awarded us a significant grant to enable that work to begin. Uh, and Crichton Central will be open in the early part of the year uh, next year. Um, the other thing just to mention about Crichton Central is that we're putting in a changing places toilet. So this is a, a large disabled toilet facility that greatly increases the uh, access to the Crichton Estate, both for those people who want to enjoy the grounds, but also for uh, entrepreneurs, business leaders who want to use Crichton Central as, as their base. Finally, I just, just to let you know that there's a number of other things that are happening kind of, I guess, in the background in relation to how the Crichton Trust is operating to ensure that we can respond in the best possible way to these unprecedented times and the challenges that we face. So we've looked at our governance structure, we've looked at how our meetings work, we've set up a series of seven work streams which are focused in key areas of um, the trust business so that we can both respond to the immediate challenge and that's is kind of what, is, what do we need to do over the next six weeks as, as the circumstances shift and change because it's a very dynamic time in terms of the guidance and, um, and what, the, what we need to do to stay safe and well and also what we need to do over a six month period and taking a longer view of six years and beyond. So we, we've kind of shifted the way that our boards, board meetings work to um, make them more nimble and responsive to that immediate challenge while maintaining a focus on the big challenges and the long-term challenges that we see around aging society, carbon reduction, and how we respond to the future economy. So that's my quick update uh, from the Crichton. Uh, I will do another one uh, in maybe a week or two's time. In the meantime, please come up, enjoy the grounds, come and visit our, our cafe, the Eastbrook Takeaway, and stay safe and stay well.